Hello everyone, I'm Richie, or the Tie-Dyed Guy, here to show you about what I built in Ross. Uh, starting in May, I'm going to be taking a robotics course, and I wanted to get a jump start on this whole Ross thing. So I've been messing with it for a few weeks now, and it's real fun. And so I wanted to show you what I made, because I've got to the point where I made something. Uh, you'll see I have this out on GitHub, so you can play with this as much as you want. Um, so I have three term windows. First one's just Ross Core, which is the default thing. So uh, one of the first things they show you in the tutorials uh, is this thing called Turtle Sim. And uh, what Turtle Sim is, it's a little turtle on a 2D plane that you can rotate and move. Uh, it reminded me of an old program called Logos I used to play with on my Commodore. But anyways, um, so it was really cool and teaching you how to move and all this. So I thought, okay, what if I take the turtle and give it a turtle to try and go to? And always make it chasing turtles kind of thing. So I, I wrote a Python script um, using Ross Core and CatCan and all this kind of stuff to learn it. Um, so I wanted to show it off now. So you can clone this into your own CatCan and build and run this script too. You just need to make sure Turtle Sim is running first. Um, your Turtle Sim is not going to be as big as mine looks on the screen because you know the magic of internet. I make that bigger. But nonetheless, here let me show you what it looks like. So I'm going to run it. And here we go. So here he is chasing others. So I have him do that little rainbow tail, and he does fun spins and all this kind of stuff. So um, what this program does is so far I have inputted three different methods of hunting down the turtle, um, and then each one of those has different variables. And so you also, you also write down how many turtles you want hunted. So for instance, I have it set for five right now. So in my midterm, you can see uh, it's hunted five. It took 9.6 seconds, so it was 1.9 average find time. So what's fun for me is the next step is so each of the three methods I have uh, have their own little variables that you can mess around with in it. So I was thinking about doing some kind of solver or something like that to figure out what is what are the best variables to minimize average find time and all this. But I'd love to hear some what should I do next with this, uh, any kind of feedback. Uh, if you need help getting it to run, let me know. Um, but yeah, no, I wanted to show off my turtle sim hunter. That's what I wanted to do. So thanks. Have, have a good one.